What's up, cruel world? What's up, freakers? The Arc 1600 here, and it's time for another Adio Freak music review. Today, I'll be reviewing XXX Tentacion's Revenge. XXX Tentacion is a South Florida based rapper who has been making waves for his high octane, high energy lyrics and his occasional misogynistic content. On his new project, Revenge, X gives us a preview of what's to come. Going into listening to this project, I really had no idea to expect. If you had checked out his YouTube or SoundCloud songs, you would see that this guy has a very diverse style. So, which way he leaned on the spectrum of rap music, rock, punk, pop, whatever, I was unsure of where he would fit in within that. But with this project, you see that he clearly doesn't want to be characterized as one thing. He wishes to dabble in different genres of music. He doesn't want to just be known as a rapper, a mumble rap guy, in the vein of Yachty and Uzi and Playboy Cardi. No slander. He wishes to be something more. And I think with this project, he gives us a taste of that, even though at times it is a bit inaudible. Beginning with the first record, Look At Me, it was the song that made him famous. I mean, what can I say? The record for me never gets old. It's uh, always getting the replay treatment. The aggressiveness, the bravado. The record is so masculine and so tough. Something that I'd wish I could get from a lot of other rappers these days. I Don't Wanna Do This Anymore features X doing some R&B crooning, in a sense, in the vein of uh, Bryson Tiller over a dark and sparse trap R&B landscape. I like the song a lot more than I thought I would. You know, while the lyrics are a bit cliched, the vibe is undeniable. Looking for a star, produced by Diplo, is strange because while on one hand, to some it might sound like some bullshit, but on the other hand, it's a legitimate pop banger, but it's not your cliche Diplo produced Caribbean inspired major laser type of record. It's in X's own special way. And with the right push, I could actually see this being a pretty big record for him. Valentine is a record that is reminiscent of some in utero nirvana. His delivery on this song is a lot like Kurt Cobain's. A little bit. Not entirely. But just enough. I would love the song if I could actually make out what he's saying. I feel like while this song seems promising, the mixing it makes the record at times unlistenable. But still a nice vibe. King is a skeletal beat back with a simple guitar riff. And somehow the track morphs into this shy, timid record into a behemoth of a rock banger. Now this is that versatility I was talking about. Within the first couple records of this project, he's given us a mumble rap record, an R&B jam in a sense, and two rock records. Pretty interesting. Slipknot is more of a traditional boom bap kind of record. And XXX Tentacion can actually spit a little bit, which is nice. Can't say that for a lot of other rappers these days. No shade, once again. Young Bratz is cut from the same cloth as Look At Me. Decent record, but uh, doesn't have that pizzazz that Look At Me does. Rip Roach, pretty much the same shit. In fact, it's the it's like the brother of Young Bratz. Mm, not really feeling this one, but it's okay. Overall, XXS Tentacion has a very interesting style. He seems promising, and if he can hone his current and really diverse skill set, I think he has a really big future in the game. And not just in rap, in music, period. And perhaps he should maybe rethink his stance on mixing and mastering his music. I get the whole distortion thing is what he's going for, but he has a message. I think the listener should be able to hear it. But anyways, what do I know? I'm just a guy sitting behind a computer. I give this little mixtape a 6 out of 10. So, with that being said, it sends my review. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit us up on Twitter, at IdioFreak. And remember to please... Tell your mother that I'll call her.
Peace and much love to you.